Humans in Animal Garb. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. There are three purposes for this video. Number one, I just wanted to acknowledge Tina Turner's death. My husband was very saddened by this. He's a big Tina Turner fan. He even has uh, a candle going for Tina Turner now. So I'm going to show a picture of that. Uh, second, I wanted to say uh, thank you again to Trevor's Flat Round and Spun and also to his lovely daughter because she's the one who picked my name. And so I made an Amazon order and I already got uh, some of the stuff that I bought. So I wanted to show off what I got with the winnings from the, the contest. So first, I bought this CD, The Poll Winners. The Pressing Matters recently bought this album, or I'm not sure if it was recent. I, I watched the video. It could have been an older one. So he was uh, reviewing this album. Basically, they're around these, like, look like giant straws. And I was, you know, envious of that album. I'd never heard it, and I just loved the cover. And so I went online uh, to look at the album, and of course, it was around $30 or $40. And I just thought this was more in my price range. I got four of their albums on two CDs for, for $14, maybe $12, 12 or $14. And I haven't tried one of these sets before, so I wanted to. Now, I am disappointed in one thing. Many of these collections will have the full cover art inside the booklet. But no, these only have what I'm assuming were the write-ups that went on the back of the albums. For each of the albums. But I'm not sure about that. And then advertisements for others. But I'm still looking forward to jumping into this. I've never heard uh, this stuff except what I sampled after I heard um, the Pressing Matters review. So I went ahead and listened to a couple of them. And um, this was a rabbit hole because it started leading me to a lot. There's a big line of these, you know, budget jazz CDs. Some of them have four CDs. Some of them have eight. I mean, eight different, sorry, not four CDs. Some of them have four recordings. Some of them have eight. I mean, think about it, eight albums from, you know, someone's career. That's quite a big chunk, even if they were, you know, really prolific. Uh, after I listen to this, I will definitely give a review. Now, something else that I got was Jack Kirby's Challengers of the Unknown. DC recently put out a series of Jack Kirby books, and this is my fifth. Now, unfortunately, when they when they came out, I did not buy them all. I'm missing some of them, and they're out of print. So I'm trying to slowly uh, get the whole set. So I was very happy that Amazon had this, and it was not very expensive. Now, I was very sad because they only put out one edition of Commandy, and that is issues 1 through 20. But later this year, they are going to put out a second volume. So I'm very happy that DC is following up. And But... With DC, they can always cancel at any time. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that the second edition of Commandy comes out. I do not want to buy the Omnibus. I think uh, it's perfect reading in, in this format. So again, I want to thank Trevor's Flat Round and Spun for that. I'm also making this video for the Comic Geek, uh, Comic Collector Geek. He puts out a Friday night challenge, and I'm sorry... It's already like Wednesday. This one actually stumped me a little bit because I want to show more than comics, but in the end, I just decided to go ahead and uh, make a video. I also didn't want to use Spider-Man uh, because he used many Spider-Man villains in, in his video. And I just, for my own sanity's sake, I just want to get through the next couple of weeks to get through school. I decided to go easy on myself. So during the summer, you will see me doing extended challenges, but unfortunately not this one. So the first one I'm going to start with is a beat up copy of Nova number two. I mean, this thing is beat, but we've got the condor. And so there is a man. Oh, so the theme of this is it's going to be humans dressed in animal costumes, which was directly opposite of the one we did last week. And so here's the here's a guy dressed as a condor. He says that the condor will swoop down to destroy you. So you better watch out, Nova. The funny thing about Comic Collector uh, Geek is he's got originals, original Spider-Mans. And look, I'm showing off this Marvel Tales reprint. But I just love that cover. And in fact, I think he showed the original of this. 
And um, I'm jealous, and I didn't, again, I didn't want to show any Spider-Man uh, just because he had already shown them, but I just had to give it up. Um, it was hard finding good covers with people dressed in animal costumes. All right, so there you go. There's the rhino. There's definitely a man in a costume of a rhino costume. This is one of my favorite covers. I just love this. Okay, and yeah, I don't have the original, but here we go. There's Spider-Man and the Vulture, and that dude is dressed in a Vulture costume. Now, here's an, Avenger, an Avengers book that I haven't put in Mylar yet. It says $6 on the cover, but I got it half price for 3 And this this guy is dressed as a, tor as a bull, so tor his name is Taurus. Now, of course, that dude looks ridiculous. Now here we've got Giant Man. This is a reprint of uh, Avengers number nine, the first appearance of Wonder Man. And here we've got Giant Man, but originally he was Ant Man, but he still has the antennas of an ant. Now, I don't know why. Like you can see him up here. He's got wasp in his hand, so that's another one. So Giant Man is holding wasp in his hand, but he still has the antennas. I don't know why. I can't remember. I have to reread that. But why does he have the antennas? Maybe he shrinks down sometimes to ant size still, even though he's giant man. I'm going to do a special on this comic. This is probably one of the best comics ever made when it comes to art and splash pages. This is like the granddaddy of them all. But on this cover, again, you have Vulture. And I know I already showed him. Uh, you also have Craven. Here we have a fun one. In Giant Size Daredevil, we got a dude dressed as a frog. Leapfrog. Like, what kind of scary vil villain is that? Okay, I'm going to switch to some modern, more modern DC. So, so, these are really obvious. This is Catwoman. Like, that... Okay, I believe this is Jim Ballon art, but that has got to be the tightest costume you've ever seen. I mean, come on, that's got to be... That is ridiculous. Do costumes really fit like that and go underneath the boobs and form fit? Did they? Did she get like vacuum pumped into that costume? Like how? How is that costume possible unless it's painted? That just doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, Catwoman. And here we got Bad Girl. I love the artist on this cover. She's over here, right? So here we got a woman dressed as a bat. Now I know that's. Not as obvious, but I had to find 10. Here's Hawkman. This is like a cover, a uh, close-up of Hawkman. I think that that cover rocks. Here's Black Cat popping at you. That's a pretty uh, cool cover, the way she's jumping, jumping at you there. Look at her go. Ooh, I have to watch the glare. And then finally, I picked this one because I just think it's ridiculous. So... We've got Marvel 2-in-1 starring The Thing and Spider-Woman. And there she is right there, right? So his guest star is like, you can't even see her anywhere on the cover. But there she is right there. Like, that's how you represent your guest star? All knocked out in the, in the corner? <laughs> and then like one third of the cover has to do with some something random. Like, I just don't think this is a good cover for this issue at all. So, spider Woman's is dressed like a spider. Okay, so there you have it. I pumped three uh, videos worth of ideas into one. Again, I want to say thank you to Trevor. I, I, I want to, you know, again, recognize that we lost another great entertainer. If you're watching this and you haven't done this animal, especially if you could do better than I did, I feel like my comic choices were pretty poor. But believe me, I can do better. Just give me a couple weeks, please. You're going to see me shine then. All right. I want to thank you all for the support. <laughs>